an incorrect summary of Elden Ring, Rotten Gold, by Maxor. On the last episode of Elden Ring, which was nine months ago, yeah. you could have had a child during that time, our heroes set out once again with the noble and realistic goal of killing God, a task that led them to the highest of peaks, the greatest of challenges, and to the most terrifying of hellscapes yeah. hidden from the likes of God and man. There they fought the likes of the mighty fire giant, clashed with the dragon lord Placid... Placid... Placid How do you pronounce that? Tangled with the uh, literal avatar of death, who, yes, uh, does kill you, defeated the sanguine lord of blood, who for undisclosed reasons is also the lord of incest. <laughs> no, I will not explain that. And finally, brave the secret trails of the Forsaken to reach the mythical Halig Tree, is what I would say if I, uh, could see anything. Yeah. Talk about a cold reception, guys. So uh, um, many visibility issues. Guys, they didn't even put enemies here. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Wandering aimlessly through the winter storm ambience with icy howling sounds for sleeping, relaxing, and studying background, we arrive at what I think is the right way, but is obviously not. I, uh, thought it would be funny to play without Google Maps. I'm sure this dungeon is going to be a lot of fun. Mod is a weird fucking straight cat outside! Okay, scratch that up. Uh, Garfield is on fucking meth right now. He gets, uh, really excited for that lasagna. These, the, the cat statues oh get really god, weird. Oh my god, it actually works. <laughs> oh my god, it's these assholes again. It's been so long since I've played I'm this. I'm not even hacking this one, it's just fucked up. Emerging from our bout of blindness and hallucinations, I do not care who is gang stalking me, I will not take my meds. We <laughs> arrive at the consecrated <laughs> snowfield. It's a... Yeah, pretty, pretty blind. Yeah, I had to fight my own demons today. A beautiful and secluded sanctuary for the lost and the forlorn. Which is fantasy speak for various racial minorities. And if I have to spend one more goddamn minute in this cave, I am going to remind them exactly what happened to Castle Morn. <laughs> and no, I don't care how much crack you give the dog. Princess doesn't bite. We've got all kinds of- I do like the sword that he drops, so there's a couple bosses in the, uh, the area. What is it, the Falling Star Beast? The one over on the left of the map that he showcased? That one's kind of a, a wall for me. Uh, the other one is that boss right there. I usually try to blitz it because the sword it drops is pretty good. Uh, one of the gates that I'll experience is having to uh, have that invisible black knife following me. Man, it's been so long, but I definitely did a number of runs. And uh, God, the, the uh, this area is always an interesting one for me to run into. Wildlife in the snowfield, like existential nihilist rat. That's the Rat. actual lore, by the way. Rat. A healthy wolf population and the putrid Albinark race. I love all of God's creatures, <laughs> unless they can run Bear. faster than me. We also have this cool portal that leads you to the up. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Take me back. I do not wish to be here again. The blood oh, lake really uh, affects the vibes. 410 billion, 757 million, 864,500 <laughs> Just watch the last yeah. part, please. You're playing Minecraft in a cave looking for diamonds. That's funny. I'm in the same cave looking for miners. Oh, I do hear the Pumpkin Hill, though. I always love a fellow Sonic Adventure 2 fan. Oh, my God. Pumpkin Hill. I am hard. definitely going to hell soon. Yeah, this one. Holy shit, what is that? I hate this boss it makes so me much. feel very uneasy. I feel like I'm fighting a fucking baby sensory video. Really big fan of the mover here. Uh, Leaves this universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's still late. E you know, e personally, e I'm a, not a big fan of the saturation artillery. It can have a bit of a negative effect on the frame rate. You see, bit. this enemy has a cool trick to it, and it's a. Uh, don't look at it. Oh my god. I, I can't quite believe it. It's a uh, woman I can't beat to death. This is the best day of my life. Do you fucking mind, buddy? Wandering past the, the mortar, gigantic yeah. carpet bombing, we arrive at the village of disabled women and respond to their aggression by executing their wheelchairs. <laughs> I've got that dog in me, and he no. is now euthanized. This oh. is Ordina, a town which guards a mysterious magic gate and is home to an even more mysterious... Ever jail, yeah. 
parallel. This one gets really, I, I like that he uh, mirrored this. That's actually really cool for a parallel. No, this one's really strange because on, especially when you get to new game plus cycles, like new game plus four and stuff, they hit so hard. The universe where everyone is really nice to me and FromSoft develops normal games. No, How never. did you get on the roof without legs? Kind of sensing some bullshit around here. Yeah. Also, yes, I did color correct it like this. Be glad I haven't flipped the screen yet. Honestly, yeah. the dark world isn't really that bad if you don't run into the uh, yeah. <laughs> six invisible ninjas. I mean, I guess they oh, wouldn't be good ninjas if you could see them. I, Wait, I thought there was one. Do you mean there's six of them? I didn't even know this. Can't you gank them if you're patient enough? I think you can take them out. It's been way too long. The dark world dub. Uh, it's okay. Everything is normal and okay in the dark world. Thought there was one. This is gonna be good. We're, we're going to what is this? This is the burning earth tree. We're going to the. Uh, we're gonna go fight Melania, the blade of. Oh just my get god! The there it is. The mythical Haylig tree, <laughs> shelter to the forgotten, the salvation of the forlorn, home to the giant <laughs> ants. It's just yeah, so beautiful rough. to behold. Uh, uh, yeah. Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Running past the Tinnitus noise. National Anthem. Who, by the way, uh, drop this cool horn. Horn actually goes kind of hard. Just wanted to show you that. And the best episode of Brave Wilderness. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten. <laughs> we enter the mysterious Haylig Tree Town, home and habitat of the many minorities that I have spent the entire game brutally slaughtering. Uh, no hard feelings, right, guys? <laughs> Sorry about what happened to your dad, by the way. Everyone is welcome in the Haylig Tree, except for the handicapped. Yeah. In which case, fuck you, apparently. Go back to your parallel dimension. This town is built in a very similar fashion to a McDonald's jungle gym. Yeah. They really got everything <laughs> got right in regards to the, uh, <laughs> Bugs and diseases. View is fantastic, but uh, I have to assail the gap to enter my house. Not the gap. What a hate crime did stairs commit? These little shits are going to have an aneurysm when I show them OSHA. Like, what do you mean you forgot to build a railing? <laughs> when was this bridge constructed exactly? <laughs> Where is the wet floor sign? I'm gonna need that to clean up the blood. I, I need more uh, more Maxor OSHA inspector videos. Like, oh my god, yes, please. How did you get a horse up here? I am genuinely curious. Sorry about what happened to your family, it. by the, the horse way. Is here now. And, uh, your soul, apparently. <laughs> Look, I know that sounds bad, but in my defense, I was really hungry. Uh, go, go, gadget bubble attack. You and that bubble would be nothing but trouble. It's time to end it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think her AI can handle that. This boss is quite the challenge, plus a little bit more, with the only consolation being that I fought it five times already. And it didn't even help, mainly yeah. because Loretta has an ungodly amount of magic. And if you don't close the distance, she will literally never stop shooting at you. Like, bro, uh, d d please, I just want to heal right now. Yeah. It looks so Your fucking cool, though. Magic I have never had so much fun getting destroyed. Let's just uh, send this shit to the glue factory, please. <laughs> Gotta fucking take her out behind the stables. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Oh man, the jokes are coming hard and fast in this one, baby! So after defeating the funny horse, we descend the length of the Halic Tree and pass the... What a <laughs> and normally sized ladder, why, why would you build it like this? Down to the city of our heart's desire, El Fail, oh, Brace of the Halic Tree. This area sucks. Kind it's of rough. a shitty tree if you have to brace it. Yeah. Oh god, I'm sorry for slandering your city. I'm Rot sure nights. it's really nice this time of year. And I can definitely say that it is absolutely breathtaking. Wait, In a literal over. sense. I have uh, died here a lot, okay? Nice place you got here. Can't wait to give it a new paint job. Yeah, it's. I was about to mention that guy. It's all fun and games so you realize that that jerk is just camping down there. And he keeps ganking you and you're just like, bro, I'm a new game cycle three, please. For the love of, love of Kaiser. This is the final legacy dungeon of the game. And as a result of that, the uh, most insane, gripping yeah. the hailing tree with a golden veneer, El Fail betrays its true nature of dark and sinister decay. Especially when it comes to the uh, back alleys on the wrong side of town. Yeah. I fucking, uh, I, genuinely, how is this legal? Oh, sweet, cool, it's another one. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, so uh, I'm really wondering what color my insides are too. This is the first five minutes of the tree, by the way. Yeah. 
nutty. Wow, I can't wait to meet the guy who owns this place. Really hope that he's not up to anything up. Sinister or incestuous? <laughs> because that would be fucking weird. <laughs> Something is telling me I'm not supposed to go this way. The death cannons are giving me up. Bad vibes. Yeah. How are you even supposed to get past this shit? I just want to use the bonfire, please. You uh, Generally, how I've done it is I will actually take time to actually gank him. Takes me several tries to do it. The uh, crossbows, you can actually just roll an iframe through them fairly easily. But if you do both in conjunction with each other, it can be kind of rough, actually. I think there's a way to also potentially either skip it to the top left, I think, like some of the archways and stuff, like on Orlando's uh, roof status, or you can drop behind them, I think. It's been too long. Don't have to be like this. Ah, oh, yes, my favorite from software I level. Hate this. For one moment, I this thought place. I was actually safe. Is that a man on the swamp? I actually. I literally blocked this out of my memory. I forgot about this room. Oh, cool. There's a thing over there. Can't wait it's for this to work out just fine. It's worthless. I'm, uh, Don't do it. I, I'm not fucking doing this. You have fun over there, buddy. I, I choose life. He didn't choose life. Six dollar shrimp special. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, you no. got this, man. Uh, worst you can do is kill you. No, the emotional damage. Fun fact for shield users like me who use the Eclipse Great Shield, sh uh, her regen procs on hit, not on damage. So shield users uh, get bent. Yeah, you can shortcut this elevator, yeah. Hey there, babe. Uh, were you born on a minefield? Oh no, because you're the bomb. No! I jumped for so long that I thought I had Is died. this Cottontail VA? Hoping. Pleading. And this is Cottontail, is it? The return Isn't it? Of my brother, Nicola. So about that. <laughs> I have killed 15 of you today. Yes. I will kill 20 of you tomorrow. And one day, my brother will find his way home by the smell of the bodies. Heed my warning. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Yep. See your boss time. Let's go. Well, you're about to, bitch. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to the fight with a uh, melatonin blade of Michelin. I can remember <laughs> that name because she says it every time she kills you, which is a lot. Yeah. I am Melania, blade of Mikola. I am Melania. I am Melania. <laughs> Can you fucking stop now? Melania Blade of Mikola is the hardest boss that FromSoft has ever made. And there are several good reasons for this. The first of which being, no, she isn't. I just happen to have a sense of shame. She is incredibly fast, incredibly tanky, chains incredibly long combos, and gains health after every hit, making this less of an endurance fight and more of a goddamn marathon, y yeah. punishing you with a grave setback for each and every mistake. 100%. Which for me is a frequent occurrence not to mention that the boss is so confident she will wait for you to attack. <laughs> Quite a while, actually. I honestly think I fucking confused her. She was not ready for the spread eagle strategy. Yeah. Melania demands nothing short of absolute perfection, where every move must be calculated and anticipated right up until she jumps in the air. At which point, you are done playing the game. Yeah, Just nice. put the controller down now, buddy. If you are ever caught by this move at any time, you are dead. There is no dodging it. There is no tanking it. There is only running away from it and watching it get closer. No matter what. If I remember correctly, actually, you can actually dive into it. And I think that actually mitigates a lot of the hits. I think if you as soon as she starts like the, the, the multiple slashes, you roll into it. And then I think you roll out of it. And I think it 
actually dodges all of it. There's some iframe roll stuff you can do uh, fairly easily. You do, some part of this thing is going to hit. And when it does, it is going to extend this boss fight by a lot. Personally, yeah. I uh, don't really know why people have problems with this boss. I'm gonna get a fucking glass of water real quick. Really, Miladia is the type of fight that you are never actually ready for. And I can say with absolute certainty that nothing in the game could have equipped me for this. Not even you, uh, boneless 10 times speed more god. <laughs> she is the fastest, strikes the hardest, and changes between all of her attacks seemingly at random, making for a boss that you can never quite predict, much less understand. But ultimately, those are just the reasons that I keep coming back to her again and again and again. She's I, very I do good. plan on finishing it, She's taking very pure, reactive. unadulterated pleasure in finally conquering a boss that really, really wants you dead. And the feelings mutual. <laughs> I am Melania, Blade of Nicola. Uh, sorry, didn't quite catch the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like his Ulfric Stormcloak cloak. Pretty cool looking tree, though. Because I'm going to kill you again, and again, and again. What a good intro. That was edited very beautifully. That was very beautiful to watch. Oh my god, Maxar. DLC, oh whoa. <laughs> this was amazing, honestly. This was actually very, very good. I always feel guilty with ones like these where I get so sucked into it that uh, I, I, I don't because the original video is 15 minutes, right? I always feel guilty when I react to things and I don't have an insane amount of commentary on it. And absolutely, like there's certain things that, yeah, you're not going to have commentary on. Like if we're watching something like, I don't know, Randy Marsh, right? Randy Marsh and the Warrior Light, right? I mean, it's supposed to be supposed to laugh to it, have some commentary here and there. But, uh, you know, I always just feel guilty because, you know, people like Max or put in so much time and work into these videos and it shows like that was a very beautiful just sequence to watch. Very awesome. Just uh, editing. Uh, I really liked the AMV style that he goes for. This also felt very natural. Uh, there were people I were talk was talking with and it felt like for a couple of videos that Max or was kind of struggling to. Uh, to. Uh, uh, What's the word? It's not th not to put out videos, but he was kind of struggling in certain aspects or trying to force something too much, which is more of a like critique rather than like an, a, a big criticism. And I think that's incredibly subjective as well. But this felt very natural. This felt very fun, felt very lighthearted. Uh, and even then, in 15 minutes, I mean, covered a lot of territory with a lot of very beautiful edits. So if you haven't checked out Maxor, I do know there are people that haven't checked out, uh, you know, Maxor, uh, other creators that I do react to. 
I try to build that rapport. I try to, you know, find creators that I think are cool, that I think are awesome on YouTube. Am I necessarily the reason for the sex? Hell no. It's the editing for the speaks for itself. And there's a reason Max Orr is as successful as he is. What I want to do is I reach in a little bit of different circles. I want to make sure that people know Max Orr exists. I want to make sure that people can look at videos like this and find creators that are awesome and find new people to watch. And unfortunately, you know, if that ends up with... Uh, them unfortunately moving on for me to a creator like Maxor, that's perfectly fine. So just trying to do what I can to be a little bit of a difference on YouTube, trying to add what commentary I can and, uh, you know, not be someone that just kind of sits there dull face. This did suck me in. I will say that this sucked me in and that this was a very, very fun watch. Very visually pleasing. The sound was on point. It was really cool to hear Cottontail VA in there loving her model. And it's just was an overall fun time. So thank you Owen, for watching. Even if you already follow Max or do me a favor, go ahead and watch this video again. Even if you're, you know, playing something like the new destiny expansion, new Elden ring expansion, please just go put on this video, help it circulate in the algorithm a little bit more. One thing that I do like doing is after the videos are done, right? I give, you know, there's the initial wave. I try to get another wave of interest into it. And you know, I just want to make sure I'm being as kind and professional as I can. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what your favorite moment. It was from this. Are you hyped for the DLC? And I'll see you in the next one.